Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we should have done in the pot. Oh no. Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat. And I'm Raven. Today we are celebrating the first of a series we intend to do where we're going to be fangirling basically <laughs> for other YouTube channels. And the first one up that we're going to do is kind of what inspired us to get rolling on, on this idea, which was Nerdy Crafter, that Jackie over there is fantastic. We love her. And she's been doing a series lately where she turns YouTubers into cool little monster sculptures. So definitely go check that out. I'll go ahead and put a link up to that in the iCard here. Uh, but we are going to turn Nerdy Crafter into a soap. Not literally, though, because that'd be creepy. Mm, okay, so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get started today and... Just to make sure I don't forget for later in the process, the fragrance that we're using today is gonna to be Banana Cream Pie because we binged a bunch of Jackie's videos to find out that she likes banana scent. So we're gonna do that for her soap. And we're gonna get started today. We've got our oils. We're only gonna be doing one loaf, so this is gonna be a super exclusive. And we've got our lye water already mixed with our sodium lactate. So we're going to get started by mixing that bad boy up. Okay. So our primary base on the soap is going to be orange, which is Jackie's favorite color. And the secondary is going to be purple, which I think from what I remember in the videos we were watching that Jackie does like purple but we also really wanted that to be for her sister Sika, who's been on some of her videos lately. So for our purple, we're gonna be using Purple Haze from Nurture Soap, which I've already mixed up with a little bit of oil here. And it's a really pretty purple. I'm a big fan of it so far. And then for our orange, we're going to be doing a blend of Neon Orange and Orange Vibrance from Nurture Soap, which is giving us a really good solid orange here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the big pot. So I've been a huge fan of Jackie's channel for quite a while now, and I introduced Kat to her channel, and I think she's been enjoying it as well. Jackie is so much fun. I really like how she's been able to incorporate her interests and who she is into her videos. So she's so salty. I love I know. it. <laughs> Gotta love her saltiness. Okay, so let's get our fragrance oil. Now this fragrance oil does discolor a little bit. And since we had so much success last time with the actually no. They don't know oh, yet. God, it's gonna mess me up something fierce. So, I, I think I said in the last video that we actually filmed all of our holiday soaps already. So you don't know this, but we used vanilla stabilizer previously. On the channel, this will be the first time you see us using it, but we have used it previously and had a lot of success. This smells so dang good, guys. This banana cream, it smells like a, almost like the banana runts. The banana smell though, guys, the banana smell. It is so good. And I'm not normally a big fan of banana smell, but this does really smell delicious. I'm really hoping that once we've got this finished up that we can send Jackie a bar. I'd love for her to be able to have some of it. Oh my God, you just put that into the soap and it's like, you know, instead of, Da 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 na 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 tequila. It's da 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 na 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 banana. I don't know which one I like more, banana or tequila. <laughs> Probably tequila, knowing you. Banana bread, banana cream. Pie. Oh no! What happened there? What the hell? Ew. Oh, this fragrance oil. What the heck? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
What the heck happened? No! <laughs> Come back! Oh my gosh. I'm scared to blend this again. Uh, don't blend it. Please. Yeah, no kidding. Yeesh. It, I mean, it's thickening up over here a little bit, but not like this. My goodness. So this fragrance oil is not behaving. All right, fragrance oil, you won't be like that. No problem, I can work with you. Luckily, we, we were planning on this being a drop swirl anyway, so take that, fragrance oil. See if I care. Not need to hang your swirl this one. Maybe, oh, we'll see. I'm gonna have to pour this from really high to try and get this to drop. That's why I'm looking for the hanger tool. Hey, hey, if you get the hanger tool, we should wrap it in some packing tape and we'll do the Earl swirl. What the f That was Kenny's new swirl that he did in one of the oh. new videos for royalty. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we should have done in the pot. Oh no. Oh no, it would have been much better in the pot. Remember Rainbow Party? <sighs> but Rainbow Party looks cool. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have the hanger to make this work. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we're gonna try and salvage this. So we're gonna do what Kenny did in the, one of their more recent videos over on Royalty Soaps where he took a hanger swirl, wrapped it in stuff to make it thicker, and he's calling it the Earl Swirl. So what he did was he put it along the edge, put it down, okay. And I'm not gonna be able to do quite what he did, but <laughs> I'm gonna try this is really getting thick. Run it along the bottom as best I can. There we go. It's really thick. Oh no. This is gonna be interesting. Yep. <laughs> to say the least. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Well, good thing the top on this doesn't matter. Well, I think we won't have to wait as long on this as we normally do for it to set up to be able to do the frosting. So I'm going to start cleaning up. So now that the base of the soap is ready to go, and we've actually decided to go ahead and try out a new technique of popping it in the oven on the very lowest setting to try and force gel phase to hopefully salvage that one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so what we're gonna be working on now is the frosting, which is going to be after Jackie's adorable Bulbasaur hat. So we're gonna be doing a combination of rainforest mica and a little bit of siren song because Bulbasaur is kind of a greeny blue color. All right, so I'm gonna mix this straight into the oil. So I'm gonna start with the siren song. And a little bit of that rainforest, give it just a touch of green. And we're gonna have the triumphant return of Tiny Blender. So now I have a little bit of titanium dioxide mixed with water. There we go. That is absolutely Bulbasaur green. I know on camera it looks like it's got a little bit more blue to it, but in, in person, trust me, it's, it's perfect. Our soap frosting is set. Got it in our piping bag. Close star tip. This is from the Royalty Soaps piping set, by the way. Because we support Miss Katie. 
All right, here we go. I decided to uh, play with a different angle for uh, filming the piping. This feels so bizarre doing just this one loaf. Right? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna run out of frosting. I'm like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> so we do not put the fragrance in the soap frosting. Just because we don't want to run the risk of it doing what it did in the base in the frosting. Alright, frosting's done. That was quick and easy. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's show you a little bit of what we've got to work with here. So first off, I have a bunch of little, so little soap dough feathers, and these are to represent Jackie's uh, burb, angel, her chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on here. Let's see, should I put them like that, or should I put them like so? Like that. Like that? The first one, no, that way. That way. I really like Jackie. Like she's another one of those YouTubers where I'm like, man, I wish I could know her in person. She seems super cool and I would totally want to hang out with her. I hope she sees this too and knows that, hey, you're awesome. And I hope you have a fantastic day, month, year, everything. You are such a huge inspiration for the way that we do our channel and just in general, I think you're awesome and you inspire me every time I get to watch one of your videos. And I'm really excited to be doing something to celebrate her. So if you're watching this and you're a fan of ours and of Jackie, if you could go and comment on her latest video, let her know that we've done this. <laughs> Obviously I'm going to send her a message on you know, maybe Instagram or something to let her know that we've done this. But I really want to make sure that she gets to see it. So next, because it wouldn't be Nerdy Crafter without salt. Lots and lots of salts. So I have in here a mix of mineral salts and Epsom salts. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this. Start pulling these. That's why I wanted to do this particular type of frosting that we've done, this, the open star tip. So I wanted to give it lots of opportunity for the salt to grab on because I'm a grain, you're a grain, mm -hmm. we're very salty. Because when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. This is making a big mess. Much salt. Okay, maybe some salt on the burb side? I mean, a lot of this is gonna fall off, so I may be overdoing it. Now. But you can't have too much salt. The last thing I'm going to do glitter. is take a little bit of glitter. What's in this one? What is this one? Do you never remember? The Super Sparkles Mica in here. And I'm just going to give a little bit of a spritz. Just a little to bring out some of the nice little details in here. Glitter! I really want to make sure that there's some on these little feathers because they're so cute. Okay. So here is the Nerdy Crafter soap. Very salty. Very burb. Look at these little guys. They're so cute. It is all ready to spend the night getting ready to be cut. So we will let this set overnight and come back tomorrow to give this the cut. And we'll see you then. So we are back and the loaf has cured and is ready to be cut. The little feathers for Angel, the burb, and all that salt <laughs> looks very cool. The purple and the orange. I'm a little nervous. We'll see how this comes out. I mean, the end pieces here look pretty cool, so we'll see. This is uh, new territory. Here we go, first official bar. So let's do this. There we go.
Look at that. Ooh. All right, we managed to salvage it, I think. <laughs> right? There's the feather. All the salt falling off right now. So if you are a, a, a grain, a nerdy crafter fan, congratulations. There is salt flying everywhere. <laughs> what I'd like to do is, once these have cured a little bit, not quite so fresh, so I want to go back in and paint the Bulbasaur eyes onto the frosting. Base. Oh, there we go. Starting to see some purple drag down. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. I mean, it still looks really cool. Feather. Each feather is a little bit different because normally we do molds for our embeds, but uh, I actually handmade these out of my somewhat attempt at soap dough. <laughs> And that banana smell is still really strong. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. Ooh, very pretty. <laughs> so much salt. Jackie, are you proud of us? So much salt. There we go, there's our final bar. Get some of the extras off of there. Okay. So here the bars are, all finished and cut. Look at that cute little feather. <laughs> so it would be super helpful if you could go comment on Jackie's latest video or on her Instagram and let her know, hey, Cat and Raven made you a soap. Would really love for her to be able to see this. And we're absolutely going to be mailing a bar, or I don't know, maybe the whole dang loaf her P.O. box because I don't know if I really feel comfortable selling these because they're really all about her. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'd like to send her several bars so we're definitely going to get those going to her P.O. box once these are cured in about four weeks. It's been a few days since we cut the bars and I've gone ahead and made some little soap dough Bulbasaur eyes and I've painted on the red of the eyes with some mica mixed with oil. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the little Bulbasaur face by putting in the little nostrils and the mouth. There we go. And the little eyelid mark. There we go. And we have the Bulbasaur hat. Very cute. Apologies if it's a little noisy right now, but these are all 10 of the very limited edition Nerdy Crafter soaps. So here they all are with their little Bulbasaur hats, with the little angel feather on top. If you're not already subscribed to Nerdy Crafter, I would absolutely go check her out. She's at nearly a million subscribers, so let's help her get there. And if you like watching us be idiots, then you'll like her being smart. <laughs> so go send her some love. Send her a comment. Let her know Cat and Raven made a soap for you. And Jackie, if you see this, you are awesome. You are such a huge inspiration, and we really appreciate you and what you do. All right, everybody. Thank you again. You can always subscribe to us, leave a comment, leave a like, follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We like to post little preview images there sometimes. But thanks again for watching. Everybody have a great day.